Hi guys, Colin here from PracticeNav. So today I just wanted to talk to you about why you would join uh, your local governing body or a local support group within your industry. So as a chartered physio in the Republic of Ireland, I'm part of three groups, uh, the Irish Society of Chartered Physiotherapy uh, and CORU, which is a state registration, and then the Chartered Society of uh, Physiotherapists in Private Practice, known as the CPPP. Um, so the reason I wanted to talk to you about this today is because I think sometimes as sole practitioners in the healthcare business, we can find ourselves quite isolated or lonely because we don't think anyone else is having the same problems that you're having. So joining one of these organizations in Ireland for me, it's especially the CPPP because they understand the needs of a chartered physio in private practice the best. And the other two are a kind of state registration that you have to join in order to get insurance and practice. So a couple of the benefits that you might look uh, towards getting from joining one of these groups are number one is obviously the support. So having the support that you can just email someone in an office straight away and get a response pretty quickly or you can be on a, a social media a group so, such as the one we have for practice nav or you know it's very easy to get answers and, and create discussion about topics that about problems you may be having going forward. The other thing uh, to think about as a practitioner is your, your continued professional development. So as physios, we're, you have to keep up a certain amount of points in, um, in order to maintain your, your registration. So joining a group such as the CPPP, in my, in my uh, experience, they uh, organize events and organize conferences so you get a kind of reduced rate and you get preferential booking for those groups so very important to keep up your CPD in order to improve your skills as a therapist uh, and the other thing is big meetups such as conferences they're really important as well because you get to meet other practitioners that may be in your area and you can organize some local support groups around that the, the thing that at the conferences is you also get to hear from, you know, a mixture of clinical and business experts, which is ideally what you want, I suppose, as a chartered physio and private practice. And the other thing is, you know, the, the guys who sell you products are generally there as well. So they have all the latest gadgets and technology and sometimes the products are, are an oversight, but they're really important, I suppose, as part of the whole package for your healthcare business. So it's a really good chance to come along and, and see those guys there as well and, and get to meet them on a personal level rather than just booking and ordering something online. Uh, and the food isn't half bad either. Okay, so the other thing I suppose is, you know, there's strength in numbers. If you're part of a bigger group, say there's three or four, 500 people in a group, that group has the capacity to potentially lobby for government to make changes within your industry to help improve and promote your profession. So regardless of what profession you're in, I'd highly recommend that you join, you know, these groups. For me, it's the CPPP. Uh, but for others, you know, osteopaths, chiropractors, it may be different. So very important to try and get uh, involved in those groups as well. As always, guys, any questions, just uh, feel free to contact me, info at practicenav.com or uh, you can take our free uh, audit online at www.practicenav.com uh, or jo join our Facebook group. Um, we'll put a link up to that. Thanks very much, guys, and have a great day.